I'm not doing an intro for Kroger Cashier. No way. I don't do intros. If you do an intro, you're kinda gay. But yeah, I'm not doing no intro for Kroger Cashier. No way. Man of the year! I understand, I got it stuck on my head. I'm gonna get another person on. Just bring up a topic, what y'all want to talk about, and uh, we'll just talk about it and have a uh, conversation about it. So, we got three more to do these one. Okay. Well, I know nobody's back or nobody's watching. I'm a Republican. This is Republican versus Democrat. It's a friendly debate. You can either drop your username in the comments and I can friend request you. Or you friend request me. Or, um, or you just do comment wars, which is a huge delay.
was delusional. You think men have just created a guy to replace their fears of death, giving him eternal life and happiness. Oh my god. Hank. Yeah. Is anyone watching your live stream? No. Uh -uh. What are you playing? Go simulator. Oh. It's the only game that makes me happy. Once I finish with this race, I'm probably just gonna do it. What? Yeah. Once I finish with this race, I'm probably gonna do some touring car races. Yeah, it's been. Oh god. We just sit here and wait for someone to join up, you know what I mean? Dude, ever since like Biden became the top, dude, no one is cared about Bernie anymore. Oh yeah, yeah, the socialist. Yeah, so we know who's not getting uh present. Yeah, socialism is socialism is stupid, honestly. Biden or Bernie. Democrats are like everything that's wrong with this world. Uh, Hank, Hank, you, all right, so you remember Lizzie who wanted to join the boys? And she was saying like, 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 I said the Democrats are fucking stupid. She said, well, technically that's just an opinion. And I was like, bitch, look up all the fucking research about how the market runs. If the Democrats were in office, Everything that you know that we do now would just be fucking destroyed, and we would have no, you know, fucking formal ethnic work or whatever. Like you know, everything would just be totally destroyed. They would fuck up the markets. They would ruin the economy. What she said? She's like, well, that's still just an opinion. Like, no, it's fucking not, bitch. She, like, she knows. You're right, you ain't got a chance yeah. to say. And then she's like, well, I'm going to go back to dancing in my kitchen with my chocolate milk and you have fun with that. And I was like, yep, yeah, whatever. Yeah, because we're more superior. People are so fucking stupid, man. We, we eat nests quick, you eat the Kroger one. <laughs> T 
few are so dumb. And then they don't know what to say when they get proven wrong. Well. The thing is that, the thing is, I've never had to stop talking. What do you say? Like, I've never had to, like, just be quiet because I know I'm wrong. I've never had to. I feel like, whenever a, like, whenever a white person does something, it's all over the news. Like, a white person commits a crime, all over the news. But whenever a black person commits a crime, everyone ignores it. Yeah, because they just want to try and keep it down on the down low. Oh, black person did something bad? No, 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 no. It never happened because I can, black I can people are all see, good. I can already see a black guy going, well, it wasn't on the news, so it didn't happen. It's well, like yeah, because they don't want to acknowledge that it happened. Of course they're not going to put it on the news. Because all they want to do is make you fucking pieces of shit look good. I'm not saying all black people are pieces of shit. If you think that, then... Well, why would you associate all, you know, pieces of shit with black people? That's kind of racist, but... I'm just saying... Mm. Hey, Ian. Yes, sir. Are you dressed? Yeah, I'm good. You got? I got you one of these. Uh, oh, of course, sir. Thank you. Appreciate you. Put on your dresser. Thank you. So if you have, oh, you got one up here. Yes, sir. Oh, I do. Yeah. So if you have any cold drinks, put it on that, and then it won't leave a, a water ring. Yes, sir. Yeah, I, I got you. Yeah, on top of that dresser. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. I have no idea. Huh? I said I have no idea. Where do you want them? Uh, I, was, I was just gonna keep them there. I thought they looked kind of neat. And I was like, ooh, I might keep oh, those. Uh, yes, sir. How old is your mom's husband? Dave. Uh, yeah. He's like 55, something like that, I'm not sure. Uh -oh. My mom's like 47, so. But he was in the Navy for 32 years, and he was in like three wars, so... Respect. I have a lot of respect for him. He was in the, like, a, like a, the, the dust storm, like, Saudi Arabian war uh, or was a, There was a guy that... He went to World War II and... Uh, that shot and killed uh, in the name of Black Lives Matter. No. And then he supports the Democrats. Is that you know who you're supporting, right? There's so many ignorant people out there, man. Mm -hmm. Cool. <clears throat> Just found something out. I didn't even know that was uh, that you could do that. There has to be a, a trophy in here. Oh man, do you think guns kill people? Oh, it's the guns' fault. Okay. What about all the other gun owners who don't kill people? Hmm? Yeah, how, how does the gun like, pull its trigger on its own? Like, it's the person that does it. The person kills them. You can't say, oh, it was, it was the, it was the gun's fault. Okay, so if it was the gun that killed them, then don't, don't, don't arrest you know the actual shooter. Arrest the fucking gun. Cause that's what did it, right? Sounds stupid. Mm, I'm just go by your logic, you're... man. That's just the way you're putting it. Well, that's not what I said, but it kind of is what you said. That's how you put it. I mean... Democrats are just something else, man. Do you watch? Uh... Oh, I forgot it. Louder with Crowder. Yes, I do. Yeah, I watch him. I'm sure I get most of my stuff. Yeah. He's very big brain. No one's fucking joining, mate. It's pissing me off.
Where are these goat trophies, man? Huh. I can't fly. I found one. You sound really good. Ah, these goat trophies. Yeah, they have like goat trophies hidden around, you know, like the map. There's 60 of them. They, like, they, they, like, the game comes with two locations, right? You have Goatville and yeah. you have Goat Bay City. So, I got a. There's 30 in each. It's more to find them all. I've got to find them all. huge common misconception people get is that black people just walk down the street get and get pulled into jail like or do they get shot they think they have no reasoning for them why they get shot or... like look cops don't just walk around shooting people because they're black it's not how it works and people will be like oh well how, how do you know uh, like well one my dad's a cop don't fucking hate on me for that like you know what I mean like you know, people. Right, I can't wait for some school conversations because I know there's some people. At, so I know there's yeah. some liberals or Democrats at, at our school. At our school. Yeah. I'm probably gonna get. I'm probably gonna get. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if I got sent to the hill for proving everyone wrong about being a fucking idiot. I wouldn't be surprised if I just got detention. That's what detention. No, I wouldn't either. My parents be like, "What? Well, why are you arguing?" These fuckers are stupid and they need to know what they're talking about. They're gonna argue. You wanna talk shit about cops? Okay, great. How about you know what you're fucking talking about? Then you can talk shit about them. For instance, the George Floyd case. Should he have had his knee on his neck? No, but that's not what killed him. That's not what killed George Floyd. Well, it was all the drugs can, in the system. He can't have his knee on He can't have his knee no, on No, but they're, they're, not, they're not supposed to. Because once you have him like, um, detained, or, like, once you have him handcuffed and on the ground, like you're just supposed to just get off of them. Like he said my dad. And my dad's a cop, he's a sergeant. I got one viewer, I don't know if that's you, Hank, but what's going on? So what we're doing here is uh, Republican versus Democrat. I'm a, I'm a Republican. Or if maybe if you have different views, you can still be a Republican but have different views. Comment your PlayStation username and we can have a discussion in the PlayStation party. Or you can, or you can, we can just have common wars, which I, I hate doing that, but, you know, it's just, just keep commenting stuff and I have to read them. It's whatever you, whatever you want to do. Huh. This is Goat Simulator, by the way. I don't play this game in... Yeah, I haven't played this game in forever. It's been a long time. Recently just remembered Goat Simulator. I was looking at the games I didn't play and I could re-download. I saw Goat Simulator and I was like, oh yeah, I used to play this game all the time. Because I'm a fucking nerd. You can say hello. Ah, oh, never mind. No one's watching. Not anymore, at least. Ten out of ten. We'll watch again.
My goat is now a shopping cart. Goat Simulator is like just a weird game. I feel what is farming simulator? I feel like you need to play that game if you Wait, what? I feel like you've looked at farm what's farming simulator? I have no fucking clue man. I don't care about farming. I figured you'd look at it here in weird games. Just think I don't care about farming, I am not from the country, I I couldn't give two shits about it. Like, do we need farming? Yeah. But do I want to do it? Fuck. No. I hate farming. I've never been interested in getting out there and digging in the fucking dirt, planting crops. Never wanted to ever do it unless it's in Minecraft. That's the only time I've ever wanted it. That's the only time I've ever actually had to plant, like, the actual crops in Minecraft. That's it. I personally don't enjoy farm work. Yeah, I live out in the country, so I'm not a country boy either. I was I was born in a, in a big city, but when we were having my little brother, all the houses and the and, and the city were where we used to I live. I were born in a big city. I mean, yeah, it's a pretty pretty you know it's a pretty big city. Not not pretty big, but average size, I, mean, I guess. Where we're at, it's not really a big city, you know, right? Well, where we're at now isn't. Well, not now, but you know what I mean. Yeah. I wouldn't, you know, it wasn't big like New York, but. I'd say it's a small it wasn't little portion. Like, a small little baby. But I was born in a city, and I was raised in the city for. for most of my childhood, and, you know. I'd rather be in the country mostly because it's quiet. Yeah, I, I, personally now I'd rather be in the country because of all the stupid fucking protesters that are ruining the city, so. I'd personally rather be out here. I'd love to see some protesters come into the country and get fucking would shot. Like, I'd just be like in mid, or just like midway, or uh, you know, where my mom lives, I'd, I wouldn't care to live there. Creek. Yeah. No. I wish everything could just go back to normal, you know, back in the days where there were only two genders. So there still are, but people disagree. Back in the days where. Like in uh, 2017, you know, 2016, 2016. Not 2017, let's go back to like 2013. What was. 2013, what happened? What, what was wrong with 2013? Uh, a lot of things. Like what? Obama as president. Oh, fuck, never mind. So I said, like, Let's go back to like, 2016 was a good year. Everyone liked 2016. That's when Trump was, was elected. Trump None was of this... elected. The 6th well, grade was fun. I fucking hated 6th grade. It was fun for me. I fucking hated it. It was, it was okay. Because, uh... It was no. fun because Aiden was still there. But... It was awful. Aiden was it? Aiden? Yeah. Aiden and I were friends, actually. In Mr. Cox's math class. Yeah, I made fun of him. <laughs> did, did he watch anime at the time? Oh. Hey, Lexi. No, he wasn't. No, Go wasn't Republican, weird. fuck yeah. I got Sadie Pete watching actually. currently. Hey, Lexi, can you give me a shout out? <sighs> no, just go live on your channel real quick. I'm doing a thing, she does shout out. outs. I asked for one, she said no. Yeah, I know. My 8 subscribers looking ass. No, it's Maybe 9 it's... subscribers, I'll take that back. I'm gonna like my own video. I'm worth live stream because I can. I self who, who doesn't like their videos? Oh, yeah, Lexi, whenever, um. Didn't Hank self promote himself on your channel? Yeah. <laughs> Check out, check out the channel Team the uh, Team Golden Jet for a phenomenal gaming experience. Yeah. <sighs> <sighs> 
you know, I feel like if you like actually started getting money, I feel like you'd leave uh, the group. Like, what do you mean? Like, I, I'd leave the boys for YouTube? Yeah. Dude, I would do YouTube with the boys. What do you mean? Pull a do. Pulling the do. Wait, what do you mean the do? The do didn't leave. Oh, I said you'd be pulling the do if you didn't leave and so stay with the boys on YouTube. Yeah. I probably have the do's upload schedule too. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> yeah. But when you, you get a lot of views when you post those, so. man. I wish I was monetized. I just need a good shout out, man. I just need someone to be like, yo, go subscribe to this little fag bag. He, he pisses people off on YouTube and... Yeah. By the way, Trump's not racist. Or homophobic, but he's sexist. But he's, he's still a good president, though. We're pro-gun here. Someone's gonna be like, oh, so you're acknowledging the fact that he's sexist, but you still want him in office? Oh, yeah. He's really yeah, because I, I don't... Country. When it comes to, uh, to presidency, no one gives a shit if he's sexist. No one cares about your fucking feelings. Well, you sexist towards women. Okay, and? So what? What are you gonna fucking do? Wanna, you gonna know, bitch about it? Fucking yeah, boohoo, get parents. over it. When they, they don't get their way. Yeah, like, sorry, right, like, whenever, whenever it comes to being someone being in office, it's not about your fucking feelings. I remember someone goes, oh, you're so, this is why Republicans don't protest, because they're all scared. No, we just don't no. get, we just don't whine like a bunch of bitches when we don't get what we want. We fucking deal with it. We don't like something? Okay. We'll address the issue in a formal way, is, like Republicans, Twitter. <laughs> Republicans is how the things used to be in America. Great. Easy. You know? And then the Democrats Demo got in office. And now it's just the, the way America is now. It's just whiny, bitchy. Don't get the way we want, so we cry. We don't get what we want, so we protest and we, we shoot people and we carjack people all in the name of Black Lives Matter. Personally, I don't think that that's how you make a point. If I wanted to make a point, I would probably get on YouTube, make a video about it like this, or get on Instagram, you know, post that, post something about that, get on Twitter, tweet about it, get on Facebook, and, well, I guess, book about it, Facebook, I don't fucking know. But you address it in a formal way, protesting, pe you know, carjacking people, hurting, co you know, trying to hurt cops. You know, trying to defund the police, abolish prisons, that's not the way to go about it. Yeah. Why would you want to ab abolish prisons? Why would you do that? Like, if someone murdered my family, right, I would love for them to go to prison and get the death penalty. I wouldn't want them to get the death penalty, I want them to rot away in there. No, I want them to get, I want, you know, if they get to take my family, you know, they still get to live. They still get to it have doesn't matter, they're rotting away in that prison. It doesn't matter, they still get to live. I'd rather them be dead so I can go piss on their grave. I'd personally rather them be alive. Just because so they can just be tortured in there. For me, I would just be like, that's not fair that, you know, my family gets to be dead, but you get to be alive. Yeah, in that case, well then... The only, the only thing is that, like, I think we should have the death penalty in all 50 states because it, it gives people fear, like, okay, I shouldn't go out and murder people because I can get the death penalty. You know, they don't do it They don't do it that much just because it's just so much political and legal work they have to go through, so they don't do it much. But... Oh, yeah, my... Uh, Barbara was telling me this. She goes, like, I was... Like, she was stopping to help this... I'll, I'm gonna say it, white lady because this will have a big effect in, in a minute. A white lady, and she goes, and she was like, <gasps> okay. you know, like, having an asthma attack. And a couple people passed, like, and I forgot, she was like trying to help her, make sure she's okay, that she need help, and then, Do you need help? Like, a lot. <laughs> well, I can't get you help if you don't answer the damn question, no, like, <laughs> no, because, she was like, it, is there anything for me to do? And she was like, hey, I, 
she says something, but like she, her, she needs to get her uh, uh, child a dictionary. No, uh, her child a dictionary. Like completely off topic. <laughs> the fuck? I know. So he can study, <laughs> and then, and she goes, "I bet if I was black, like, like, okay, before I get to that part, she goes, a lot of people <gasps> passed by me and didn't care." She goes, I bet if I was black, they'd stop. They would. I bet they would. No one cares about you if you're white. You know, people get the, oh, if you're white, you're racist because white people owned slaves back then. What about other Africans then, back in Africa? You know how a lot of them made their money, they made their living? A lot of black then, people sold slaves. Black slaves. And Barbara just left. And Barbara just left her. She's like, okay, you know what? I think you can handle it on your own. You can, I'm just gonna leave. So... <laughs> Hmm. That was definitely a weird one. A lot of black people, a lot of black people back then made their fortunes on selling black slaves. But people don't acknowledge that. Why aren't black people racist? Why is it just the white people? You know, I'm not religious, but and you know, have you ever seen Bruce Almighty? Morgan Freeman is God. Morgan Freeman's black. I fucking love Morgan Freeman. So Evan Almighty was a good baby. Was a good baby too. Yeah, recently, Evan Almighty kind of sucked. I'm not gonna lie. It was a, it was a funny movie. Yeah. Mm. Uh, I didn't really, I didn't really like that one. It was kind of stupid. There's so many issues that we have nowadays that no one wants to acknowledge. If a black person commits a crime, they do nothing about it. If, if, a, if a white officer arrests a black man for killing someone, you know the, thing the white, the, the cop is racist. The protesters are like, block the truck so he can't get in. Block the truck, like stop him so he can't drive. You do realize this thing has like 480 horsepower. It can run right through you. I mean, and if you want to get in the way of that, sorry. Oh, well, then I, I hope you die if you're trying to if you're trying yeah, to if block they, a if, firefighter if or this, something. If, if protesting's still going on in two years, if people try to stop me, I'm just running. I don't care. I'm not stopping. Yeah. I, yeah okay, I will so, stop for a minute. I will stop for a minute so they can get in front of me, and then I'm just gonna. Then I'm just gonna go. So this one. This girl was good. Yeah, you know, like a bunch of these black guys were trying. Like, I, I were trying to, to pull this girl like, out of her car, right? So what she did was, uh -huh. so she backed up and then she totally just drove right into some guy, just sent him flying up <laughs> in the air. And they put like a, they put an APB out for her car because they wanted to arrest her for that. Like I'm sorry, what? They're trying to pull her out of her car, and she totally fucked them up. Why would you yeah. want to take? Why would you want to arrest her for that? Yeah, for protecting I'd bail herself? her out. I'd bail her out right away. Same. I would just say, you know, I'm not going to jail for that shit. Like, you're gonna arrest me for protecting myself. You know the kid that, uh, they're getting high, they're getting, like, highly, detect like, highly, like, uh, lawyers from Los Angeles to come oh, down God. to protect that 17 year old kid in Wisconsin. Oh, yeah, they did, he's paralyzed now, right? Huh? Wait, 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 wait what happened? I'm not, no, I'm remember not... the 17 year old with the long barrel gun? With the long barrel AR? Uh, I'm I'm not I, I'm not really aware of that situation. You don't know the situation that happened in Wisconsin. The guy shot. I'm not a very. Black I've heard of it, but I'm not very educated on it. I haven't like done a, I haven't done a bunch of research on it yet. So. Oh well, I'll tell you what. Well, he was getting people hate him, and I'd say that nobody acknowledges this. He was getting attacked by the Black Lives Matter people because he was protecting his like I think his dad's store. And he shot a Black Lives Matter guy, and if you look at the footage and stop it, you can tell that that guy had a gun. Like he, one, he was messing around with one Black Lives Matter guy, and then the other one was coming in, and he had a gun, and he shot him. And now people, and now people are getting on the 17-year-old, and he, and everybody's like, oh, he walked right past the cops. He's not innocent. 
He's not yeah. innocent, he was protecting it. He is innocent. So he, he is like... Wait, so he was like, like trying, trying to protect his dad's store and then all of a sudden he's like racist or whatever for... Uh, apparently... Not I, trying to fight the cops? I don't, I don't understand. I'm not 100% sure, but that's what people are saying that he was protecting his store. He's protecting his store and... Yeah, I totally understand that he want to protect his but store. But he was running away from the BLM people. Yeah, and, probably then was, and then he was getting attacked, and then he turned around and shot twice. Well, they and probably now deserved it. I know what people are posting on Instagram is just not accurate it's at fucking all. They're stupid. saying, like, they're if showing you're gonna go try to hurt away, someone like, and they shoot you, that's your fucking fault. Like, they're showing the kid walk right past cops with the gun in his hand, and they're showing, like, a black guy getting arrested. This doesn't, it's stupid. Well, I, but you know the was guy, the guy shot, white? Yeah. Makes sense. Makes sense why white people had a whole outbreak on it. No, the thing is though, the hmm. guy that he shot had a felony. Yeah, people like people ignore that. It's like, oh, well, he was black. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so because because you're black, you get to commit any crime you want. Really? That doesn't seem right to me. Yeah, I seriously don't care what skin color you are. You can be fucking green, but if you start like trying to hurt someone and you get shot, don't you even fucking dare try to say, "Oh, he's racist. He shot. He sh he's shooting." Sorry, you fucking deserved it. You brought it on you. You wanna hurt someone, get shot for it. Your fault. You deserve it. Don't even don't even try to say, "Oh, well, well." Well, well, still, you know, it, well, he shouldn't be using guns. You know, he walked right past the cops. Okay, and so what? The cop didn't do anything to him. You know, he's trying to protect his store with a gun. I, I can see why the cops wouldn't arrest him. You know, like, but hey, he, but the thing is, he wasn't supposed to be holding a long barrel gun out. Yeah. He can hold. He can carry a gun. Yeah, he can because he's 17. But he has to have a adult with him. Okay. He, well, yeah, I understand he that can have a gun. He, he, he should he, have in, he should get in, like he can have a gun. He, wait, I'm sorry, you're being. He can have a gun on him. He just have to have. have you just said that you, you just said he can have a gun, but he needs an adult to have a long barreled gun. No, it's, no, no, he can have those type of guns. Like but an he has to have an adult with him. Yeah, he has to have an adult with him. People think you know AR and this in a like in a AR-15 means assault rifle. Kind of funny. Like, oh, that means assault rifle. No, it doesn't. This isn't fucking Fortnite. For those of you who don't know, the AR in assault in a not assault rifle, an AR-15 does not mean assault rifle. It means Armalite. That's the company that made it. So, if you say, oh, well, AR-15 is an assault rifle, that's what the AR stands for. No, the fuck it doesn't. That's false information. So be quiet. Mm -hmm. and pe you know, pe a lot of people like to quote, oh, well, you know, like a, like a lot of, you know, Democrats that have never owned a gun. They're like, oh, yeah, well, like, well, you should be able to go to a store and just, like, buy, you know, like a fully automatic machine gun. Like, those are pretty much fucking impossible to get. They're super strict government regulations. You have to go through a lot of background checks, and probably I'd say 99% of the time, if you try to buy like, a machine gun from the government or anything like that, an automatic weapon, you have to be like, probably special forces, or really fucking special. You get, you'd have to be. I mean, you'd have to have a good reason for them to not want to put you away. Well, not put you away. Sorry, I meant like a fuck. I just totally, I just totally forgot what I was saying. Like, you can't go buy just an automatic at your local gun store. People say, oh, well, you don't need to, you don't need to own a semi-automatic. You know what that means? I could pull the trigger and hold it, and only one bullet will come out. I can keep holding it, it won't do anything. Just one bullet goes off. People go, oh. Like, that's pretty much how most, you know, uh, you know, rifles are. Most handguns, most, you know, shotguns, semi-automatics. You know, some shotguns are pump action, but... <clears throat> People are like, oh, you know, we need to ban, you know, the AR-15. A lot of shootings are committed with handguns. A lot more than just an AR-15. You know, you don't need an eight-round 
magazine. Okay, well, what if I'm being attacked by 10 guys? What, do you want me to have like a one round magazine? Shoot him once, have to fucking reload? What do you want me to shoot him with? What do you want me to do? If someone's trying to rob me, like, you know, like, well, like, let's say someone breaks in my house, right? They, c they could have a knife, and they could be very skilled with a knife. They could know exactly what they're doing. And who knows, they might, you know, rape and kill my family. What am I going to do about that? I don't have a gun. Huh? But if I did have a gun, I'd shoot that motherfucker dead. So you don't get to, you know, this guy, he's getting a triad. Be like, uh, three home invaders were shot and killed, right? Deservedly, they, they deserved it. You can't just break into someone's house. And, uh, one of the dads of, uh, of the quote-unquote victims was like, Oh, we need to, uh, oh, we... We need to ban AR-15s because it gave the homeowner an unfair advantage. Like, what? No shit. That's what it's for. No, like, an unfair advantage. That's his fucking yeah, house. That's, house. That's his house. <laughs> Obviously, he's gonna have an advantage. Someone breaks into my house, I'm... I'm shooting the motherfucker. so stupid, though. He's an unfair advantage. <laughs> well, he's fucking breaking into my house. What do you want me to do? Do you, do you want me to give him a beer and say, take what you want? I'm gonna give him a kiss on the cheek and be like, yeah, yeah, here you go. Kiss on the cheek, you know, a little smack on the ass. Say, hey, okay, cutie, <laughs> take what you want. No. Shoot that motherfucker's face. And it, it doesn't have to be an AR-15. My dad said that, he, that in a home invasion, he preferred to use a handgun because they're smaller, so if you're peeking around the corner, they couldn't just grab, you know, they, they could just grab your, your AR easily, or they could grab your rifle or, or your shotgun easily, so with a pistol, so, you know, it's close to you. And also, I, I agree with them. I would also rather use a home invasion. Not a home invasion, a pistol during home invasion. But you don't see us banning pistols. And people like you know you can have like a like a like the same caliber on like a 22 it's very small but if you have a gun that looks very menacing like i i have a 22 rifle that's styled to look like an ar-15 it's not an ar-15 it's a 22 it just looks like one people say oh no ban that but if i show them like a little like a little wooden rifle that's also 22 they would say no that's okay if, even if it's the same caliber round they go off of looks, like, oh, that gun looks scary, motherfucker. It's a semi-automatic that shoots a really tiny-ass bullet. Guns are scary, yeah. You don't fuck around with guns. It doesn't... Like, it was, like, 22 round can still kill you. Like, bullets, mm -hmm. bullets will kill you. But it's not like that thing is a fucking machine gun with this... Like, a fucking... 50 caliber sniper rifle with these huge-ass rounds. Not how it fucking works. People are fucking stupid. What the fuck? Well, I stepped his mode across. Hank, are, are, are you watching my stream? No, I'm not. Okay, someone. Oh, no, they fucking left. Someone joined up and left. I was gonna say, hey. You probably saw that I was playing Goat Simulator and they're like, oh no, fuck this. I wonder if I can even hear you on the stream. Huh? I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I can hear you. I want you to just, like, just start talking. Okay. Huh? Hello, hello, hello. I'm gonna see if I can hear you. I want you to just start talking. Okay. Huh? Oh, yeah, I can hear you. Great. Yeah. Sometimes it, it makes it to where like, it, you, it gets really yeah, quiet. Like, like yesterday. Like, I, I, I watched your stream, I was extremely quiet, like, I, I couldn't hear me at all. I swear it shifts
Alright. Well, no one's watching, so I don't know. I might stop the live stream. I don't know. I need to start uploading YouTube. I need. I, I just need a shout out, man. That's it. Man, I have Alexis to self, like. She just says that like, oh, like, if I give, like, if I give you a shout out, I give everyone a shout out. I just... No, you don't, man. It's I'll, your, I'll like, it's your channel. Video. Like, it's your channel. If you don't want to give someone else a shout out, you don't have to. She doesn't like, want to give me a shout out. Like, even if you don't give me a shout out, like, and, and if, even if you don't give me a shout out, like, I, I can still grow. I will still be able to grow off of you. You know that, right? Yeah, cause I'm like, and I'm I'm the actual I'm the entertainment. I'm like probably ninety percent of your content. Yeah, I know. I hate about the live stream is like if I get on a different game, it'll end the it'll end the stream. Yeah. Hey, buddy. That's what I think shifts over its front wheel drive. No, I should just go and end the stream here since nobody's watching. <laughs> I'm gonna invite one of my friends to the party. It's my friend Benny. He's pretty cool. Accept him now. One Hank, invite him. Okay. I haven't all day. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Shut up. I want to go. Thanks, Matt. Oh, oh golf. I like golf. Golf's pretty cool. No judgment. I'm so sorry. I'm playing Goat Simulator right now. Why? I'm also trying to stream about a Republican versus Democrats, you know, it's fucking joining. So you play piano? I play the drums, mate. Like, I don't play like, like, like percussion, like, like you know, an actual drum kit and shit. Like the ones that like the one like the kid I have in my dad's house is fucking awesome. I haven't taken another picture of it though. Of like what it looks like now. It used to look kinda of bland and plain and boring, but now it's pretty neat. I don't know man. I 
What? Are you fucking kidding me? Hey, did she block you or did you? That's fucking weird, man. Yeah, I wouldn't know how to feel about that either, man. Again? I'm just gonna go ahead and stream here. Fuck, man. Remember, everyone. Trump 2020. That'll do it.